Time for the celebrity edition of My First Car with Ron Livingston. Ron, your first car, please. It was a, uh, it was like a mid-60s Volvo. Uh, one of those sort of rounded body uh, yes. coupe things that looked kind of owlish. They, uh, they were, it's almost like they set out to make a car for you not to get laid in. Yeah. Like, like they actually sat down. It worked. A, <laughs> they sat down with a block yeah. of clay and started sculpting a car for a guy. Like maybe, maybe, like technically, maybe there, maybe there's a lot of guys cheating on their wives at that point. So Volvo decided to make a car that wasn't going to get you laid. Yeah. And, I, well, I got it. I mean, I sort of backed into it. It's, I, it's, uh, I moved out to LA. I'd never owned a car before I got out here. And, uh, I, uh, a, a buddy of mine actually is the guy that that uh, that gave me my first film job out here, George Hickenlooper, the guy that directed the thing with uh, with Molly, Molly Ringwald, Ringwald and the, yeah the townies the Sling Blade short. Sling Blade. And he directed the Sling Blade short. He said, "I got a car for you to use while you're here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't run. You need to get it. Right. You, you know, but it, it shouldn't be too hard." And uh, and then the bastard sold it to me when I got out here. He was like, "Well, why don't you just buy it from me?" Uh, and I could never get the damn thing to run, uh, so uh, I junked that. It was a, it, the, the Volvo was sort of the early hippie mobile because they were safe, yeah, and and they had zero performance, and they're real practical looking. And I think a lot of people out here in Southern California, a lot of the hippies that my mom hung out with, thought they were cool cars because they were sort of fu to the man kind of cars. They weren't they weren't Cadillacs and they weren't Buicks. They were Volvos. I thought that it looked cool. I mean, to me, it had a look of like, uh, you know, like one of those old Mercedes uh, sedan looking things. It was very, very European looking. Yeah. But, uh, it would have looked cooler if it ran. Uh, <laughs> it would have been nice to see it move. Yeah. It was uh, fairly gutless. I think those things had like a 1.8 underhead cam with like, I, I don't know, probably if it had ever started it would not have had yeah, more than I would have, I 130 would have found that out yeah horsepower so, so I, really you never really got it running never got it never really got it running and uh, and i and and but i spent all my money like trying to trying to fix it so then i had to go to uh, i went down to the auction that they have for the fleet cars mm -hmm. uh, and i got one of those I, it was like a Pontiac T1000 which mm -hmm. was like a cross branded Chevy Chevette right uh, that they just ripped the parking enforcement seal off the side so right. there was like a big round hole in it. <laughs> and it still and it came with the chalk stick that they chalked the really? tires what with. The, why would they give you like like when you buy a, a cop you know, cop car that had the thing, would they leave the billy club? They, the I had a book in of it? tickets in it. I I, I it, they, it was like a book of blank parking no tickets way. that came with it, I swear to God. What the fuck are we thinking? Yeah, I don't know. It was good. So but, you so you drove essentially the Chevette, but it was a Pontiac. Yeah. And it actually came with the stick and the book of tickets in yeah. it. I do like, I don't see it so much anymore, but I used to see the guy driving around the sort of decommissioned mail truck. You know, there was, there was a time like in the 80s when all my friends got like the mail, yeah. like the mail Jeep. The right side driver. Yeah, like I, I don't know why that makes you cool. You're driving a piece of shit that uh, oh, some just guy cheap. drove for it 80 years. It was strictly all, economic. All, all economics. All right. Well, my big beef is the guy who drives the cop car that still looks like the cop car, yeah. they should paint those things bright orange or I something. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So start with the Volvo and uh, make your way up, or at least laterally, yeah. to the Chevette slash Pontiac meter-made mobile. Right. That was Ron Livingston's first car.